I wonder, is this the first time you've taken an online course? We've found that one powerful aspect of learning online is that the world's best resources become available to you. I mean, at the same time, there are some pretty terrible resources out there, but sorting the good from the bad, the enriching from the dull or the misleading, that, that's really my job. So I've started by wanting to share an example of a lively and engaging teaching artist project. Now, before you start watching the film of this project, let me give you some background. This is a story of ice, a beautiful couple on that ice, Olympic glory, and four very sharp ice blades. Now, even though this is starting to sound like a bad Hollywood script, actually nothing could be further from the truth. The couple on the ice had been skating together for nine years. She was Jane Torval. He was Christopher Dean. The ice was in the city of Sarajevo in southeastern Europe. It was the Winter Olympics of 1984, and Torval and Dean skated their free program to the music of Ravel's Bolero, a piece full of sweeping passion. They were stunning. They received 12 marks of six, the highest possible score, and the only time ever that an all-perfect score was achieved. It is seriously virtuosic, seriously world-class, and seriously beautiful. Not surprisingly, Torval and Dean became the toast of the UK, but nowhere more celebrated than in their hometown of Nottingham in England, where they'd been born and where they'd trained for Olympic glory. Each of them became Nottingham's cherished son and daughter. The project we're now going to consider is based on that real event. In 2014, 30 years after their gold medal winning performance, the Nottingham Playhouse, the professional theatre company in Nottingham, decided to create a tribute to Torval and Dean's magic, to the four minutes and 28 seconds spent in that performance to Bolero. Hmm. Now, what would you do? Organise a parade? <laughs> Hold an ice festival? Well, they employed some clever artists, highly skilled in working with communities to create a not-for-profit mass participation event which was choreographed by Jennifer Jean Charles and filmed and edited by the Confetti Media Group for broadcast on Notts TV. They created a tribute from the people of Nottingham to Torval and Dean and a way to unite many different groups of people across the city and the country. It was called Mass Bolero. Watch it now, although first you may want to watch the original 1984 Olympic performance by Torval and Dean. Or maybe you would prefer to watch that after you've seen the 2014 Mass Bolero. <laughs> 